Yo, what's good guys? We're back in the cut today. We're running the taco tour out here in the greater Los Angeles area. And the first spot we're hitting is uh, Taco Del Rio right here. So let's check it out. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Woo. Look at these tacos. These are insane. I ended up ordering a lengua which is beef tongue, cabeza, that is a beef head, carnitas, which is like shredded pork. And then I just got a normal asada. That's like the most popular one here. So this is the carnitas taco. Let's try it out. Cheers. Mmm. That meat is so flavorful, so juicy, tender. The toppings balance it so well. The sour cream, the guac, the cheese. Wow, that's, that's, that's really good. Mm. Mmm, mmm, amazing. Mm. That carnitas was very good. So flavorful. Wow. Let's move on to this next one. This one looks like carne asada. Yeah, this green salsa is really tasty. We're gonna have to like put a little bit on there. Oh yeah, let's go. Mmm, mmm. Definitely the meat from that carnitas to the asada is so different. Really good balance, really good. We'll grab this one right here. Look, look at all that cheese, that Monterey Jack cheese. Let's get this bite, either lengua or cabeza, I don't know, but I'm excited. Mmm, mmm. Definitely cabeza, so soft. It's hard to describe cabeza, but you know it when you taste it. It's a distinct taste but it's so good. And having it with all these toppings is different. Never had it like this. Mmm, wow. We're going hard on that salsa today. It's, it's flavorful, it's so good. Lengua, let's go. Mmm, mmm. Like all, through all those toppings, you definitely taste that lengua. Lengua with cheese is crazy. <laughs> hitting right now wow but I definitely recommend coming here and giving it a try it's a really good spot if you're in the area come check them out taco del rio we're gonna keep our taco tour moving though on to the next spot all right guys just pulled up to the next spot we're at tacos los martinez here in pomona this is a very hyped up spot. I'm really excited to try it. They're known for their al pastor. Let's check it out. Oh, this looks so good. Appreciate that. Thank you. This is the special order. I got four different tacos and every taco has different colors, different textures, different shapes. Right here on the right is the al pastor. This is what they're known for. Cut perfectly, straight off the trompo. And then to the right of that, this is the fresh chorizo right here. You got it perfectly charred, a little crispy, a little soft. That's gonna be packed with oily flavor. And this right here, one of my favorites, of course, is that lengua. So the texture looks crazy. And the last one on the plate is that carne asada. Couldn't resist ordering this one after seeing him prepare it over there. It was smelling so good. I'm gonna keep it simple today. Just throw a little fresh onions. It's perfect. Let's actually put some of these. These are the habanero pickled onions. Oh yeah, let's go. All right, and then for the for the salsa, I'm gonna try that one. Yeah, so we just got seated at our table. No, I'm just kidding. We got um, little stools and we're just posted up right in front. Got the spread right here. Don't know where to start, but first let me try this. Wow, that's so good. It's giving me some flashbacks to when I would drink the Nesquik strawberry milk when I was a kid. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. All right. We gotta start off with the Alpa Store. Cut perfectly straight off the spit. All the layers are stuck to each other. Perfect char. Oh man, this is gonna be good. This is what they're known for here. Mmm. 
it tastes more to like auto bada to me. It has like a orange flavor, a little sweet, barbecue-y, super good and fresh. And you could tell like biting into that tortilla, so fresh, so soft. All right, just finished that first taco, so good. That lengua is eyeing me though. So thick, so juicy. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be good. Mmm. This lengua has more of a bite to it. Bouncy, at the same time still tender, but a lot of flavor on there. And that green salsa is so good too. Let's try one of these um, pickled onions. These are the habanero pickled onions. A Little bit vinegary. Oh, they're spicy. <clears throat> but that is good. Mm. That's a good lengua. Mm. Forgot to mention, we got here right when they opened. Everything is tasting so fresh, it's so good. Next, we're gonna hit that chorizo. Haven't had a chorizo taco in so long. It looks amazing, the color and the texture. And it was just looking right here. Mmm, so spice packed. Definitely some crunchy pieces in there. It's charred. Main flavor is all those spices coming through. Definitely a flavorful taco. I'm really excited to try this one. Right as soon as we got out the car, the air was smelling like charcoal cooked garnishada. And that smell, if you guys know, is next level. Mmm. Mmm. Just what I was expecting. Charcoal flavor elevates the meat so much. Mmm. Number one thing that sticks out to me here is all the ingredients are fresh. Nothing was lacking. Everything was legit. Man, that was so good. I wish I could eat more here, but I gotta keep a little room for our last spot. Let's keep this taco tour moving. All right, guys, we just pulled up to the next spot. We just went 10 minutes down Holt Avenue. We're here at Tacos Estilo Guadalajara. They're known for their tacos al vapor, which are steamed tortilla stuffed tacos. And I'm excited. I actually haven't tried tacos al vapor before. So okay. let's check it out. Yes. Um, yes, please. Thank you. Let's go. The tacos are ready. I'm about to dress them up right here at the salsa bar. Just add a little bit of green right here. Nothing too crazy. There we go. All right, so I asked what the, of course, what the, the favorites are here. She said you have to get the cabeza and the lengua, so had to get those. This The first one is the lengua right here. We're gonna take this bite. Mmm, mmm. Their tortillas have a consistency of kind of like, like a pancake. The lengua is even softer than usual. Such a different style taco. Mmm. Mm. All right, next one we're gonna go with is the al pastor. They hooked it up with the meat on here. Look at how big that is. Look at that tortilla. It's so smooth on the outsides. Mm. Such a sweet flavor. It's, it's a little bit more chewy, but very strong marinade in that pork. It's like a sweet bacon, that's what it tastes like. Mm. All right, next one is a first. This is the cachete, which is beef cheek. Almost looks like, like a carnitas. I heard this is a good one. Very popular here. Let's go. Mmm. That one's fire. It's like crispy, but so juicy at the same time. That's good. Next one is the new one for me too. This is the labio, which is beef lips. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. That one's crazy. Tastes like the cheek, but way more fat. Might be one of my favorites now. That's so good. Wow. This next one is the straight cabeza. This is the mixture. Head meat, everything. Mmm. Literally a mixture of those last two. The lips and the cheek. Keep in mind, El Vapor tacos, they're very soft and it makes the meat very tender. With the onions on there, perfect touch. It's just like the crunch breaks through all that softness that meat juice we're on the last one the og carne asada it smells really good it looks kind of crispy but yeah let's try this one mm. it has a strong beef flavor but definitely can't beat that cabeza still good though the flavors there mm. man i'm stuffed full taco tour day 
I went hard. I'm getting the meat sweats right now. But I'm so glad I tried these new spots. They are amazing. Super friendly staff here. Come through if you're in the area. But thank you so much for watching my taco tour. I'll catch you guys next time.